Hi, this is Emily Cram with Eduphoria, and I am going to walk you through doing two tasks related to House Bill 4545. The first task I'll demonstrate for you is the ability to filter data view by a criteria in order to identify and create a master spreadsheet of students who did not approach grade level for your assessed areas. That spreadsheet would function a lot like our EOC tracker, if you're familiar with that report, allowing you to see students' names and then the different tests that they need to retake or be readministered. So I have, um, I have already created a spreadsheet so that we can easily navigate through these. The other skill set I'll show you when I'm in here is the ability to identify students who are absent on the day of the test administration. So I am going to go ahead and walk you through how I created this data view. If you're not as familiar with creating data views, you can go to our online help guide and navigate through the foundations of creating a data view. For now, I'll show you that I have pulled over multiple tests. I'm making the assumption that I'm an elementary principal and I want to first create a spreadsheet of all of my students who did not approach or meet that criteria for House Bill 4545. So they didn't approach grade level on these assessments, therefore they qualify for intervention. So what I did is under test, I went to star and then I clicked on the appropriate school year. You would click on 2021. I'm in a demo site, so I don't have new data, but um, you can click on your category related to the correct area and then you would just go down and navigate through each one of your assessments and drag them over. So I pulled third and fourth grade for that reason. Fifth grade usually goes on to a middle school campus, so I would only be providing intervention for third and fourth grade students. After you have those assessments, then you can navigate to your columns tab. And here for this particular spreadsheet, I wanted to keep raw score, percent score, scale score. All of that information for my master spreadsheet of students who need intervention is helpful. Um, then I left approaches in here so that I could easily create a filter next to approaches and I said approaches equals no. And that is the filter that I have established right here. So that filter will allow me to only see students who did not approach grade level. And from here, that would be all of the information I would need to create my spreadsheet. I removed everything from Summarize by just clicking Clear. And now I'm gonna go ahead and click Update. From here, you'll see I do have every student at my campus who took the assessment and did not approach grade level. From here, I could easily go ahead and navigate and take this into an Excel document where if you're comfortable with Excel, you can grab this top column um, and you can create a filter so that you could easily maneuver the information that you see here. You could also maneuver the test information. So this would allow you to easily be able to see which students did not approach grade level and what students maybe didn't approach grade level on more than one assessment that they were given. So it allows you to navigate through that information and manage it a little easier. If, however, you are really wanting to create monitor groups related to these students, then I suggest you start with Axiom because Axiom will allow you to create monitor groups by clicking one button after you identify the group of students that did not meet that qualification of grade level and or they did not approach the assessment. So Axiom is easier for the avenue of creating monitor groups, but for me to just have a spreadsheet for my own information, that is how I could do that. Then the last piece I will show you is we really wanted to talk about the ability to grab students who didn't take an assessment. According to House Bill 4545, those students would qualify for intervention as well because we do not have administration data for those students. So in order to get that information, I can go under columns to the folder that says administration information. As I scroll down toward the bottom, there is a field that's called score code. I could pull in score code 
um, I'm going to show you real quick. You can add a filter to score code once you have identified qualifying areas for your school or your district. Um, from what I have seen in other district sites, the score code of absent or the score code of other will pull in students that did not take a test on that particular day. So we do not have testing information for them. Um, you, Like I said, if you want to double check to make sure that's accurate for your district, you could leave off the filters and update your view because it'll easily show you the students that have no information next to their name and those would be the qualifying students. The last step I need to do here if I am filtering by absent or other is you'll see that when I add multiple filters I get or next to the top filter. I need to change that to and because I want both the students absent and or other. That's hard to say and or other. But the students who were absent or qualify under that other category. Now when I update this on my site I'm not going to have any students because I'm in a demo site. So I'm going to go ahead and take these filters off just for the ability for you to see what those score codes look like. Um, knowing that you would see more information on your site because you are going to have absent score codes on your end. So on mine, I just see the information where it says score next to their name because we do have a score or I see a dash um, because this particular student didn't take that assessment. But you would see words like other, absent, you might see um, additional test information as well. So that would allow you to identify which criteria you would need. Again, following these steps will allow me to navigate and have a data view that pulls up the students who did not take an assessment for STAR 2021. That will hopefully be very helpful in navigating both the students who didn't meet the criteria and the students who didn't take a test for House Bill 4545.